hello everyone in this video see the neural network implementation for sentiment analysis and we will perform this on IMDB review data set in which a review is available and the sentiment positive or negative that is available so the experiment that we have carried out previously the first that is using features and those are available in numeric form the second experiment we have carried out is on image so we have lightened the image and then we have used neural network for the classification this third experiment that we are performing on text. So we are giving text as an input and we are predicting whether the review that gives you a positive sentiment or negative sentiment. And for that, we are using IMDB data set in which 50,000 reviews are available with their sentiment. So, for column that is your column one that is your review and the second column that is your sentiment positive or negative right okay now let's see the code this is to mount your drive right your google drive then we are using some libraries of python some libraries of Keras, some processing libraries, tokenizer. Okay, now the data set that is in CSV format and that is available at this path. I'm reading that using pandas. Then I am checking for null. Then this is the head of that data set. So you can see here this shows the review and this is sentiment so this is glimpse of that data set let's pick up a for known particular review so this is the second review this one so i thought this was a wonderful way to spend time on a too hot summer weekend this is the review and based on that review the sentiment is positive it means user is liking that movie so this is the sentiment so our target is to predict whether the sentiment based on the text is positive or negative right okay now this is c1 if you want to print you want to check how many positive and negative sentiments are there then you can do it then these are the some pre-processing tasks right so in your sentence there may be like some XML tags are available some uh, apostrophe exclamation marks right those are available some more space are available so you want to remove that so you can do it using array that is regular expression right or you can also use the nltk library as well nltk to pre-process your data right, right now i am uh, pre-processing using array that is regular expression okay so remove tag it will remove your html tag then um, some species it will remove some punctuation marks and numbers single character and it removes multiple spaces so once we process our data right then what we need to do for all the sentences that we have available we want to process each and every sentence we want to process each and every and then so you can see here from movie underscore reviews i am fetching the first column 
and making it a list then one by one i'm iterating over each and every review right i'm iterating over each and every review and giving that review to preprocess underscore text function right that is defined over here preprocess underscore text that is given once that sentence is preprocessed we are appending it to capital x that is also a list right so after processing each and every sentence we are appending it to capital x and this is our list okay now let's check this is the original review and this is after preprocess so you can see here this is removed right is open and close round braces removed this end symbol that is also removed right so this triple dot these tags are removed so this pre-processing step is over now the next step is your labels your label that is y in second column so movie review sentiment is this positive or negative we want to convert it positive to one negative to zero so in previous uh, practicals we have seen this like we have used this label encoder to convert it you can use that as well but here i am using lambda function what it does it does uh it replaced this positive with one else means that is negative with zero you can also use this one as well okay so now in capital x you have pre-process sentence and in small y you have label that is one or zero for positive and negative now we want to train and test the model so what we will do we will split it 50000 right 50000 total rows are available total sentences are available we are dividing in 80% train and 20% test right we are mentioning over here 0 0.20 and random state is called 42 to keep it consistent if you run multiple times the same statement it will give you a same training and test split right so 80 20 so 40000 in training and 10000 in testing okay so this is done and now still this 80000 20000 this 40000 these are the sentence how to give this sentence as an input to neural network right this is a still a question so there are different ways to do it right what you can do one approach is bag of word model so you can count the words that is available in your text and based on those counts you can give this count as an input to neural network and then your neural network will work right but this is just a row numbers it just count so if i write not good so many times like suppose five times then good will appear five times though i have written not good means bad but it will count good five times so it may possible that it gives a positive sentiment right so this is the disadvantage of bag of word the another is your word embedding right what is word embedding so word embedding will represent your word suppose uh, this the this is my word so it will represent this word in a vector so if you are using glow word embedding and with red dimension so this will represent 
this the word in hundred dimension vector right so it will give you a vector of this word same way for suppose is it will give you a vector likewise so this is word embedding in this word embeddings those are learned right what we are using right now we will get the pre-trained word embedding is your glow word i mean there are uh, there are other as well like word to vac right these are other uh, this is other word embedding right now in this we will use this glow embedding now it may possible that this glow contains so many words but the corpora that you have means this 50,000 words may not have all the words right or you want to specify like for top 5,000 words I want word embedding okay so how you can do such things the text size may different right some text is small some text is large so what you need to do in that case right now how how to get the vector for this word that thing we will see here so we will use this tokenizer it will divide your sentence into tokens right now in this tokenizer the number of words that are specified are 5000 means it will pick up top 5000 words then tokenizer dot fit on text means this tokenizer we want to fit on tech x train right so on x train means on this 40000 reviews we have fit okay now tokenizer dot text to sequence x -train. so what it does it will convert your X train means review into index index from 0 to 4999 so for 5000 words it gives the index from 0 to 499 and for each review let's suppose this the word that appears like suppose at 100 Right. This text sequence will convert that the word to hundred. Right. Same way it will apply that thing to x underscore test. Right. Let's see one simple example. This is the sentence. Hello, hi, what? Right. This is a sentence. Assume this. So what this text to sequence will do? So text to sequence will take this sentence as an input. And you can see here it converts into a vector. So 4936 means index of this hello. 4853 index of I what? So we have indexed 5000 words and these are the index number of that word. Then the next is your vocabulary size so how many words total you have in your x train right so that is your vocabulary size and zero index that is reserved right now once that is decided we are deciding the maximum length of sentence so we are right now deciding this hundred words so each sentence must consist of hundred words now suppose if you have less words uh, or first assume if you have a higher than the 100 then what you need to do you need to remove the words that are after 100 right so big sentence you need to cut it out if you have a sentence size smaller than than this then you need to append something so you can append in beginning or you can append at the last Suppose in this, if I decide the sentence size 
five then so i have three words so for remaining two words what i do uh, what i do, what i will do i will put zero zero right so same thing that will happen on x train and x test means on review on text only so it will perform that thing right so now your x train and x test x train and x test right so x train what is x train size of x train train total 40000 40000 sentences are there and size of each sentence is 100 right same way x test x test is 1000 cross 100 this is the vector size okay now we are using glow so we need to fetch out the embeddings of particular words so what is the embedding of the what is the embedding of each or what is the embedding of uh, hello hi and what right so we need to fetch it out so this is the pre-trained model right and this shows uh, this is a six billion tokens this is 100 dimension and this is a text file available so that you can download i have already given the link in the beginning so you can download from that and i have put it in my drive so i'm using that so first you need to open it split and this will give you a combination of word and embedding of that particular word right so first i will split and first Record that is word and second will be your embedding right so once i have embeddings of all the words in this embedding dictionary right so he is your word so i have fetched the vectors for each word that is available in this once that is over the next task is to create embedding matrix or to create that embedding matrix right so num zeros vocab size comma 100 this is your length 100 right we have fixed this length vocabulary size so that is your tokenizer dot word index plus one how many words are indexed in your tokenizer right so that we have taken so that is 92547 such words are there and we will create a matrix of this 92547 by 100 and we will give that to the input right you can have a small size as well but to showcase that you can train this as well right we'll keep all words that is available in tokenizer on our x train right now we need to iterate over this 927 once you iterate you will get word and index you can see the one and two of three these are the index so we'll iterate over each and every word and then we will find out the embeddings of that particular word from embedding dictionary right so we will fetch out that suppose for the we'll get it and we'll place in embedding vector right once we have this embedding vector what we'll do in embedding matrix at particular index that we fetch out right at that index we will place this embedding so suppose for the the index is one so from embedding dictionary dot get the it will fetch the embedding vector for the so here you will have embedding vector of the now in embedding matrix at the index of the which is one which is one so embedding matrix one what you will put you will be put that embedding 
vector and how we'll get this embedding vector from glow right so for this 9 to 5 plus n we will get this right so this is your pre uh, you are using the word embedding of pre-trained glow model so in your embedding matrix you have that thing right now let's create a model so as we are creating a sequence model right sequence form uh, one two like one input and then it will give a output that will work as input to second layer likewise so we are creating a sequential model now the first layer that is our embedding layer right so your text will be at embedding layer and from that it will go to a next layer right so first i am creating the embedding layer this is a mockup size then fixing the size 100 weights we are taking from embedding matrix right we are taking from embedding matrix input length that is max length that we have fixed 100 right entrainable false means it will not retrain or change these weights it will directly take those weights right if you make it trainable color true then it will learn this 92547 by 100 right this matrix size embedding matrix 92547 by 100 it, that will be learned by this layer and as we make this false it will not learn that right so this is our embedding layer we add it then to give this embedding layer as an input to dense layer right here we have five neurons so to give this as an input this is a matrix so what you need to do we need to flatten it right so we will flat uh, flatten it because uh, if you remember in image as well the 10 cross 10 image we have flattened and that is your 100 right? and that will give as an input to dense so same way here we have some like 92547 by 100 we need to flatten it once we have that 9254700 that will give a, to a dense layer dense layer with neuron 5 the activation that we are using that is relu and the last layer that is as we are categorizing either a positive or negative sentiment only one neuron is enough so binary classification right as this is binary classification you can use sigmoid or softmax activation over here right so i am using sigmoid activation over here sigmoid that's why you can see here this is a sigmoid activation now let's compile the model optimizer we are using adam you can try with other optimizer as well loss so in previous example we have multiple classes so we were using categorical cross entropy but here it's a binary so we are using binary cross entropy matrix so we are checking on accuracy in the model summary you can see so nine four so that I have shown you then you have five dense layer so and that is this is a flatten so you can see 100 by 100 right so we are learning embeddings of each words but the input that is your sentence and the length of each word sentence one comma length of e each word uh, sorry sentence size that is 100 words and then this is size of each word right dimension so suppose your word i mean that you are using law that is dimension is 250 instead of 100 then this will be 100 comma 250 right dimension of word embedding okay so that is your input that text is your input 
but you are learning for whole vocabulary okay so for that sentence that we are giving as an input we have 100 comma 100 and if you flatten it then that is multiply so this 10000 the next layer is dense layer with five hidden layer, uh, five neurons in it in that hidden layer and this is the output layer so this is 5 cross 10000 that is 50000 plus bias for each neuron that is plus 5 so that is 5001 that is 1 cross 5 that is 5 Plus one bias that is six, right? So these are the trainable parameter. Remember this. Right now we are not focusing on this. We are not training it, right? You can see here trainable parameters. These are the trainable parameters, non-trainable parameters. So we are not training this. That is non-trainable. Okay. Then we will fit our model. Right, compile it. Summary. Then fit your model on X train and Y train. Batch size is one twenty eight. Epoch for six epoch. We will run this. And here you can see the validation rate is zero point two. So out of this eighty thousand, eighty percent, there is forty thousand. We are again splitting it. Right. So out of this forty thousand, twenty percent for validation. Right. So from this forty thousand, eight thousand that is for validation, and remaining thirty-two thousand. Mm, let me write over thirty-two thousand that is for your training. Right. And what is the batch size? That is one twenty-eight. So if you divide it, you will get. You are getting two fifty over here. Right. And this for six epoch. Right, evaluate your model. Test Y test. Right, batch size will remain same, so it will give you accuracy. Proc seventy four. Right. <coughs> Then we we'll print it. Then we have plotted the accuracy. Right. Model accuracy, train validation, and validation. Okay, so here you can see here your training that is not proper. You are getting different different values for your training, and then your validation. It is somewhat constant, right? Same way for loss as well. You can see your model loss. So means <coughs> your model is not performing well. Though you are getting a good accuracy, but it may possible for new sentence it will not work properly now this is just to check for a new sentence we will add our sentence and we will check that what is the sentiment of that particular sentence right so i will give A sentence. This is very good movie, right? Pre-process that text, and then convert this text to sequence, right? So you will get this eight five four two six forty five twelve. So that is index of each word in this particular vocab. Then you need to pad it. Right? The length is hundred. Remaining uh, zero, and we are putting post to keep this as a pre. Then it will pad before eight. Then 
this model will predict model dot predict on sent what it does on this sentence right it will check it will check the value is greater than 0 0.5 or not so this on send it will predict something some probability and if that probability is higher than 0 0.5 then you can say it's one that is positive right okay so these are the two references so i've used the codes that is given in that and modified as per the my requirement so you can refer those links thank you